Soil moisture is a very important data type. Uh, it is an extremely critical data type to NASA, for instance. It is used in a variety of models that we use, for instance, to do a weather forecast, climate monitoring. It is also an important input to landslide, mudslide monitoring. Traditionally, we use radars and radiometers on board satellites. The advantage of this methodology is it has very large coverage. We just don't have enough ground truth data to validate uh, how good that estimate is. And this wasn't possible until we have sensors installed in ground to collect uh, near ground truth data. The sensors are installed at a distance about 10 feet, sometimes no more than um, 100 feet. So you get much higher resolution in terms of the data samples than you would get from remote sensing. We also get much higher temporal resolution because we can afford to sample continuously on the order of once every few minutes. The idea is to basically collate all these different data types by satellites collected by the uh, aircraft flyover and by uh, ground sensor data. Basically put them all together for the uh, validation calibration purposes. Previously, most of my work was theoretically based. We didn't have to go out in the field and install these things, make them work, and so on. When you actually have to build these things for real, uh, a lot of things, problem challenges uh, arose uh, that you wouldn't even think of earlier. Our first deployment was on a cattle farm. Uh, you have to pr protect them from uh, cows as well as ground mice. So a lot of time was spent on finding packaging solutions. We started uh, the experiment at the uh, Matai Botanical Garden just because they're, they're close by and it's easy to maintain. And then our first real uh, field work was in Canton, uh, Oklahoma. We expanded to California. Right now we have uh, about two or three locations in Northern California. So eventually we would like to build the uh, California site to cover a three by three uh, and nine square kilometer area. In the end outcome, I think uh, it's of great significance and importance to the public. For large scale monitoring, we serve the purpose of uh, calibrating the remote sensing data so we can make remote sensing more useful. But for monitoring tasks that are more local, smaller scale, then what we're building is the exact technology that you would use. Pushing computing beyond laptops and mobile devices into our everyday surroundings. Ten years from now, what you might envision are devices that you can wear on your wrist or on your chest, or maybe that get integrated.